Hi everyone! In this video I walk you through getting started with Kaleidoscope. Connect the power. Connect the audio via the mini jack. This is enough to get started with Kaleidoscope. I'll now insert a clip from another video about the Kaleidoscope interface. How to control the Kaleidoscope? In the Kaleidoscope everything is a parameter and there are no hidden menus. By changing the parameters you control the instrument. In the Kaleidoscope all parameters are located on pages. The page selector is responsible for selecting pages. 8 groups of 4 pages each. Then switching groups the display shows the names of all pages within the group. The currently selected page is highlighted by inverted brightness. Each page contains four parameters. Each parameter is controlled by its own encoder. The screen displays the values of each parameter for all four tracks at once. You select a track by holding the track selector and rotate the encoder to change the parameter value. If you select several tracks, then the rotation will change the parameter of all selected tracks. If you don't select any track, then the rotation will not change any parameters. This kaleidoscope feature works with all parameters on all pages. Kaleidoscope's pages are organized by meaning. So, with some practice you'll be able to navigate them easily. The kaleidoscope comes with a cheat sheet showing the page layout. Another cheat sheet shows the synthesizer track architecture. Page group 1 is responsible for everything related to timber. Additive, subtractive, oscillator frequency parameters, as well as volume and FM synthesis parameters. Page group 2 is responsible for everything related to the volume envelope. Envelope shape, generative sequencer and destination 1 and destination 2 modulation matrix settings. Page group 3 is responsible for everything related to the modulation envelope. The pages here are the same as those for the volume envelope. Shape, generative sequencer settings and settings for the two destinations. Page group 4 is responsible for everything related to MIDI channel settings on the first page, interface settings are on the second page, preset controls are on the third page, and the fourth page contains the oscilloscope and spectroscope. Page groups 5 and 6 are responsible for MIDI modulation sources. Page groups 7 and 8 are completely empty for now. Timber, volume envelope, modulation envelope, interface configuration, MIDI modulators… not that complicated. In practice you'll spend most of your time in the first three groups. The top row lists all pages in the current group. The currently selected page is shown by inverted brightness. In the upper right corner an indicator shows which page group you are currently in. Following are several lines displaying parameter values. At the bottom is the status line. It displays activation and hold indicator, the values of all synthesizer modulators in miniature, a MIDI monitor, which I'll return to later, and system information about the status of sensor and encoders. Let's move on to the master page. The send parameter controls the audio output matrix. Currently the sum of all tracks is sent to each of the four outputs. If you want to output each track individually, adjust the matrix. I've now removed all tracks from all outputs. We can see that synthesis is going. I'll click on each track individually. 
but I can't hear anything in my ears. Now I fit the first track to the first audio output. We hear it in the left ear. Now I fit the first and second tracks to the first audio output. We hear their sum in the left ear. I fit the first track to the first audio output and the second track to the second audio output. I'll similarly configure the third track to the third output and the fourth track to the fourth. But I'll use a connection where each track goes to each output. Move to the interface page and set the track select parameter for all tracks to hold value. In this mode, pressing a track sensor triggers its volume envelope. It also activates the track for editing. This is reflected in the activation and hold indicator. This means that by holding down a track selector, I can hear it and edit its parameters. If you select drone mode, pressing the track selector will only activate the track for editing. However, pressing it does not change the state of the volume envelope. I change a parameter, but the volume envelope doesn't change its state. To deactivate the envelope in this mode, I need to quickly double tap the sensor. The third mode is Edit. In this mode, the track selector doesn't trigger the envelope at all, but only activates parameter editing. This mode is convenient, then an external sequencer is playing on the synthesizer and you are using the kaleidoscope interface to edit parameters. I'll return all tracks to hold mode. I'll set the signal selection parameter to 1 to 3, so the scope displays all track at once. I'll set the signal sync parameter to track 1. If we sync to another track, the signal from track 1 will flicker on the screen. Move to preset page to listen to the various factory presets. The preset architecture. Kaleidoscope has four tracks. Each track has one native preset, which are saved to memory then edited. I'll edit the parameter values. I'll restart the synthesizer. After that, the synthesizer will return to its original values. Kaleidoscope also has 128 slots where you can save presets from the sound core for reuse. Similarly, presets can be lowered into the sound core from these slots. To lower the preset, hold track selector 1. Turn the slot parameter to select a preset. Press and hold the third encoder while the preset is loading. You can release the encoder and track sensor. The preset has been loaded. Now I'll load preset number 127. This is the initialization preset. It's a simple triangle wave with the volume envelope. All effects are disabled. Let's quickly create some cool sound. On the additive page, turn middle to make the waveform a sawtooth. Turn sustain all the way up on the volume envelope page. This creates a regular sawtooth. Turn fold up to increase the hard sync oscillator frequency. Set the value to 3. Turn mix down to mix the original soft tooth and the fifth soft tooth.
To turn the knob quickly, hold down the encoder. On the subtractive page, close the filter. Increase the resonance. On the volume matrix 1 page, set parameter to filter value to modulate the filter frequency. Set destination to 0 so that volume envelope modulates the filter on track 1. Increase the depth parameter. You should hear how volume envelope modulates filter frequency. Also, on this page you can change the base value of the modulated parameter, in this case the filter of track 1. On the volume envelope page adjust the envelope shape. You can also add some overdrive. Great! Your first sound on the kaleidoscope is ready. Let's return to the preset page and save this sound. You can't save it to slot 127 because it's locked for storing the initialization preset. Select a different slot, for example 126. Hold down the track selector. Hold down the fourth encoder while the save process in progress. I'll check that everything was saved. To do this, I'll load the fault preset from slot 127 again. And then I'll load the preset from slot 126 again. Done! You've saved the preset to memory. Now you need to edit the name. Hold down the track selector. Pressed encoder 2 controls the cursor position in the name line. Unpressed encoder 2 controls the letter selection. I'll name this sound Daft. The preset name is saved automatically. If the sharp symbol is lit next to the name, it means the system hasn't saved the name yet. It's better not to turn off the power, give the system some time to save. 